So welcome back to Father Son Golf. Uh, today we are doing a lockdown lesson with Dad. Um, been working hard on my swing in the back garden, in the net. Uh, mainly tidying up the sort of uh, backswing and trying to improve the impact position um, but now just struggling going through the ball a little bit so um, Rich Scarrett who's our, who's our pro, I've been working with Rich for probably about the last four years uh, he's going to tune in and he's going to give us a virtual golf lesson uh, here in our back garden from his back garden and uh, you can have a little insight into what we're working on So welcome back to Fathers and Golf. Uh, last time we saw Riley have his lesson, so a few yeah. things to work on. Yeah. Yeah. Always good. Yeah. Trying to trying to improve. Uh, this time uh, we're with uh, Rich uh, from RS Golf Academy. So we've got your YouTube channel that you've just set up, Rich, and yeah. on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You on you on them all, aren't you, mate? I'm on them all now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Today is going to be looking at my swing and um, and where, where the issues are, isn't it, Rich? Yeah, so obviously you've sent me a few swings in the week that I've had a look at. And, yeah. Um, you know, knowing, knowing how you work, probably one thing to give you today out of this session um, is enough for the next few weeks for you to work on. So, um, yeah, I've kind of I've got a good idea what we need to do. Yeah. So, um, let's just let's get to it, I yeah. think. Yeah, happy days. So start swinging. So, I've got, a, I've got my seven iron here, Rich. Yeah, just hit a couple of balls for me. Yeah, feeling a bit, feeling a bit stiff. Yeah. <coughs> I've worn the grip away off on this seven iron. <laughs> gonna have to, gonna have to get it re-gripped after this lockdown. Yeah, the first one was still a bit stiff. <laughs> so how how's uh, how's your practice been? Uh, it's been good, mate. I've been. Uh, been coming in working on lots of little bits, sort of the working on the takeaway. Been quite happy in general, but even when I stop it on impact, I've got a decent impact position, but like it's then straight away. And if I don't yeah. time that right, it's it's all going to yeah. go a little bit wrong, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just need to make you a bit more solid for impact. I think if we can get your body a little bit more active yeah. as opposed to your hands. Because um, what I've noticed, like the swings that you've sent me, yeah. I would say backswing, plane, everything is okay. Um, stuff that we've done on the downswing, so kind of the squat rotation as a first move is, is, is looking great. Your leg work is 10 times better than what it was. But your, your exit through the ball is still a little bit high. Yeah. So it looks like your body's, in effect, kind of slowing down and your hands are speeding up. So. That, unfortunately, that's going to promote a two-way miss. Yeah. Um, and for you, because you hit it quite a long way, it's going to be quite destructive. So, um, I've got a couple of ideas. What we need to do: um, yeah. a couple of swing balls through the ball. If we can do that. So, if I just flip my screen round. Yeah, yeah. Right. So. Do you want to come and watch this, Friday? Uh -huh. You can then tell me. You can be my coach. Yeah. And then we've kind of got the squat, squat rotate. So you get to a good position here. But then I feel this just kind of stops a little bit. And you finish quite high with the hands. You look quite restricted as you can work through the ball. Yeah. So kind of this finish here. So we're going to keep this really simple. The terminology, I want you to just say this to yourself when you hit the ball. As you hit the ball, I want your hands and the handle of the club turn around the corner so you feel like you're turning them around the corner so that's basically working around your lead hip and your and your your left glute 
so they're, they're working around the corner, so you can start to exit a lot lower and more around the body. Now, when I do that, if I work around the corner, the right side is being a lot more, a lot more active. I'm covering the ball more impact. I'm remaining in my tilt, which obviously you said about Riley doing. Yeah. But it's also yeah. pacifying your hands. The hands are staying very, very, well, not active, should I say? Very, very uh, passive. Quiet for it. Yeah. And then from there, you can release it late. Feel like you're finishing a bit lower around it to your finish. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. So, so when, I, when I've done that as well, so if you want to go hands around the corner and try and feel like your right arm as you finish, your right arm is more horizontal across your chest. Okay. As opposed to being really high like this. Yeah, okay. Alright? Let's give that a feel. Just check that. That's, um, give it a go. Yeah. That's perfect. So I'm not, I'm not just saying it's purely for look. I mean, knowing you, knowing you really well, your ball flight does tend to get quite high. Yeah. So these changes will knock down your dynamic loft, your spin loft, and the ball flight should kind of lower and become a bit more penetrating. Yeah. So around the corner, and then right arm horizontal across your chest. Yeah, try not to try not to break your right arm down so early. Try and keep it wide as you rotate. Right there, that's it. Nice swing. I tell you what, you could do play like a uh, a three-quarter punch. So do a practice swing and hold your finish. Right, so there, lower your right arm and put it across your pecs. There, that's where I want you to feel like you're finishing. So around the corner to a lower finish. That's lovely, mate. So play one like that. Yes, please. Mm. That feel different? Yeah. Good, 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 good. So basically now, if that's your three quarter feel, keep the three quarter feel with your arms, but go to a full rotation with your body to the finish. I don't want your arms to do too much. I want your arms to stay connected to your body, but try and give me a hundred percent rotation to your finished position. What? So three quarter, but still finish all the way. Yes. It's better. Does that feel like the, the, the head's kind of tracking lower into the left through the ball? It, it must do, mustn't it? Definitely a That's different it. feeling for me. I'm a little bit tight with the right shoulder. I, I was digging out the garden for the um, uh, for the artificial putting green that we're having, but so I've trapped I've, my trap is really tight. So I think okay. like as as this moves on, this that that may help it a little bit. It does feel yeah. quite quite tight. Well, I'd just go go steady then, because obviously that's going to pull, isn't it, with that right arm working across your chest a bit. It's it's just tight. It's just that it's just you know it's 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 not quite relaxed off yet. <laughs> it's all that digging. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll let you off, mate. You're building a putting green. It's all good. <laughs> speed in now for me? Yeah. Nice, nice. I'm really happy with how that looks. It's a nice solid contact. Really, really, really solid. It looks, it looks like you it looks like you're really squeezing the ball a bit more. Yeah. 
I can see it's all in the middle as well. Good, good. What might, I was just thinking about this. What might be a good idea for you guys is, you know, we've got to we've got to do what we can in this situation. But even if you just put a bit of tape on your net, just just you know a foot long, just on put like three different sections on that white line, and try and hit the ball in between those gaps so you're changing your trajectory. Okay. So for you, I, I, I'd want you practicing your low trajectory all the time because we know that you get the ball a bit high and it climbs. You can yeah, move, that down. Watch, move that down. <laughs> They're great nets. <laughs> yeah, good, mate. It's really good. Not quite as good uh, contact, but. That's what I thought. <laughs> So hands and handle around the corner, right arm across your chest to your finish. Ah, oh, love that, love it. Be nice with a four iron. Two, <laughs> two, two iron. It's, de it's, it's definitely a, a different look for you through the ball. That. Nice. Happy with that, Rich? Because we, we yeah, always keep I, it. Honestly, I'm over the moon with that. We always keep it short and sweet, but that um, that makes sense and definitely gives me something to work on. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So just just think of it: handle and hands around the corner. So yeah. you kind of that's working around your lead hip. Yeah. And then from there, just feel feel like that right arm stays horizontal across your chest. Yeah. As opposed to kind of folding that elbow really up high. Yeah. And then that, that'll obviously that promote you to rotate a little bit more and then and cover your chest over the ball, which lowers the ball flight. So I'll, um, I'm happy with that. I'll, uh, I'll get some front on uh, videos and I'll, uh, I'll slow them down and have a look at that and just see. Because it's definitely that just post impact where the, yeah. <laughs> the, the dog's getting involved here. So <laughs> watch out the way, Riley. So it's like yeah. it gets there. And it, every, yeah. like, you, like you said, everything stops, and then the only way I can continue, because obviously I've got quite a fast swing speed anyway, the only, the only way I can keep it going is, is that, or like you said, yeah. I've got to, got, to, got to turn it through, so no, that's cool, I like that. Yeah, you're, you're, you're right. your right shoulder needs to continue. Yeah. It needs to continue rotating, doesn't it? Yours gets a little bit that way. So when I look it gets a little bit underneath, and then the hands flip. When I look back at my videos, it's always, I look like I've just, I get to here, good, good, really good positions, and then just everything stops. And it's just a matter of timing yeah. then. And then, you know, when you're hitting the ball 300 yards, the, yeah. if you time it, if you're on a good day and you're timing it, it's perfect. But then, you it's know, a split it, second, isn't it? and it can just be that one shot that then ruins the round or something. So, yeah, yeah no, I'm happy with that. And I think that's, um, that's some good stuff to work on. And get a good feel for it. Yeah, nice thanks, one, Rich. Yeah, well, thanks for doing right. Riley's lesson. Yeah, and thank um, you. obviously, what do, what do people need to do, Riley? Um, they need to subscribe and also subscribe to Rich's channel. Which is Rich's channel, RS Golf Academy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and thank you, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> always thinking of others, Riley. You know him. Um, but <laughs> no, thanks for that, Rich. Uh, appreciate it, and yeah, um, look forward to seeing you uh, in your cave soon, mate. Yeah, I hope so. Quality. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care, guys.